your baby sleep through the night is one of the most common challenge among new parents. Sleep is very important in the initial years for the overall development of babies. All sorts of development happen when baby takes a good amount of sleep as per their age and sleep is equally important for parents as well. Hello mommies and daddies, welcome back to my channel Mom and Baby. If you are new here, you are most welcome. My name is Sarita and I am a mother of 20 months old baby girl. I normally prepare the videos on child care, mother care and family care in general. So please give your love by hitting the like button and subscribing our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for the regular updates. Let's become a big family in the YouTube soon. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my experience and tips and tricks that I have learned from my family, friends and the research on how to get your baby to sleep throughout the night. Please note that all babies are different. So the one that worked for me may not work for your child. But if it works, then please don't forget to share with others because I believe sharing is caring. In order to solve the problem of baby not sleeping well throughout the night, I think it's better to know the reason why your baby does not sleep through the night first. The most common reasons are baby is hungry. Newborn and young babies have very tiny tummy which can't hold much to keep them full throughout the night. Therefore, it's very normal for a newborn to wake up every few hours for feed. Your baby wants your comfort and reassurance during the night. The temperature of the room being too hot or too cold can also disturb your baby's sleep. If your baby is ill or teething or having growth spot or blocked nose, then also baby tends to wake up quite often. There may be other reasons such as uncomfortable night clothes, colic, diaper chains, noises and disturbances, light in the surroundings, food habits and so on. Now let's see the tips that will hopefully help your little one to sleep throughout the night. Tips number one, help your baby get to know the difference between day and night. It is very important to teach your baby from the start that the night time is different from the daytime. During the day, try to keep things light, bright and active or as normal as possible. So open the curtains, play games and don't worry too much about everyday noises when your baby is sleeping. But at night, keep the lights down low, keep the things quiet and give your baby soothing cuddles instead of playing with your baby. This will help your baby to set his or her body and learn the difference between day and night. Tips number two, keep calm environment. Try to start your baby's bedtime routine about an hour before you plan to put your baby down to sleep by turning off the television, turn down the lights and winding down the activities. This will help your baby to relax. Also, make sure the room is at a comfortable temperature and it stays dark. You can even try to add some white noises in the baby's room. In the night, the softest sounds can disturb your baby. Therefore, keeping the white noise will drown out any other noises happening around the house and will provide a consistent soothing sound for your little one to fall asleep. Tips number three. Establish a good bedtime routine. There is a proverb of saying, it's better too late than never to start any good thing. Similarly, it's never too early to establish any good habits for babies and it includes 
a good bedtime routine as well. Try to introduce a soothing bedtime routine as early as possible. When my baby was born, she was not sleeping well in the night. Therefore, I established a bedtime routine by giving her bath and massaging her every single night which helped my baby to sleep well in the night time. Bath and massage help to calm baby down and relax. As a result of which, baby can sleep for longer hours in the night. I have already done videos on how to give bath and massage step by step and the benefit of this I will leave the link of the videos in the description box below so don't forget to check that one out. In addition to this you can try some calm and peaceful activities such as reading books or singing lulabi. I normally sing a good night to you, good night to me, now close your eyes and go to sleep. And I make sure to sing this song only when I am putting my little one into bed. This helped my baby to associate it with her bedtime and feelings of drowsiness. If your baby doesn't settle after a feed, try to breastfeed your baby if you are breastfeeding just in case if your baby is still hungry. Or try to do some soothing skin to skin with some of the gentle rocking. Whenever you are establishing a good bedtime routine, try to make it simple and sustainable so it's easy for you to do every single night. Babies are very clever. So even the smallest change in your baby's routine can leave them feeling off and suddenly waking more frequently at night. Therefore, try to maintain the sounds and lights in the room as same as when your baby fell asleep. Therefore, even if your baby wakes up in the middle of the night, there is nothing different. Tips number four. Teach your baby to self-soothe or give your baby the chance to fall asleep on their own. Generally, babies sleep wake cycle starts to develop in around six weeks old which means baby will start to sleep more at night and less during the day when your baby is around three months old your baby may be able to start settling down himself or herself and go back to sleep but please note that all babies are different therefore unfortunately not all babies will do so but you can encourage your baby to self-soothe by putting your baby down on his or her back after a feed when your baby is sleepy but still awake. Watch whether your baby can go to sleep when you are near to your baby. When you are putting your baby to bed, try to use some soothing phrase sounds or words like shh or it's sleepy time. I normally say no no cha no 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 in my own language, which means sleep my baby sleep. Repeating the same phrase, same thing again and again with your baby help to associate it with bedtime and feelings of drowsiness. If your baby wakes in the middle of the night and cries, try to minimize your time with your baby. Try to let your baby know that it's a night time and it's time to sleep but not to eat or play also please don't try to look at your baby's eyes at all especially in the night if there is an eye contact your baby might think it's our time to play and it will be very difficult for you to put your baby back to sleep place your hand on your baby's chest for a few moments to calm him or her and then leave the room. For the first six months of baby's life, your baby should sleep in the same room as you sleep, as there are so many factors that could lead to the sudden infant sleep. As your baby might put pull the blanket on his or her face or put the pillow, so try to be very careful 
until the six month of your baby's case. Tips number five, follow up schedule. If you want your baby to sleep well in the night time, you need to prepare your baby from the day. So make sure that your baby is getting the right amount of daytime sleep. As mentioned before, newborns can't differentiate between day and night. They just sleep round the clock. As they get older, they start sleeping longer periods, the longest stretches being at night. If you are lucky and get a chance to take a good nap in the day, you might not be able to go to sleep in the night time or it might take longer for you to fall asleep. The same thing applies to babies as well. If they sleep too much during the day, they won't stay asleep as long as in the night time. When my baby was born, she used to sleep whole day and from around 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. she used to wake up and until 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the morning she didn't go back to sleep. Therefore, I was having a sleep deprived. I did a lot of research and then I tried to let my baby sleep only few hours in a day and I always make sure that her last nap during the day is before 4 p.m. Since I established this habit with my baby, she started sleeping well in the night. So if I can do this, then I'm sure you can also do this. Just try to listen to your instinct and be consistent with your schedule. Be patient, persistent and practice. You might know or you will soon know that the other name of parenthood is patience, persistent and practice. All the babies are different. Some babies sleep for longer hours and much more than others. Some babies sleep soon through the night, while some don't for a long time. Babies have lots of growth spurts fault and sleep regression in different phases of their life. Because of which, if your baby was sleeping well in the night, might just stop suddenly to sleep well. Be ready and patience during the time like growth spurts, which normally only last for a few days, and sleep regression, unfortunately, this lasts for from one week to four weeks. After this time, your baby will be able to go back to normal pattern. As soon as the growth spurt or sleep regression is over, your baby will be able to return back to normal pattern. Therefore, just have patience as these are not going to last forever. Thank God. My next tips is formula feeding or breastfeeding. If you are mixed feeding, meaning breastfeeding and formula feeding, then I highly suggest you to give the formula milk in the night time or before your baby goes to sleep in the night. Studies have shown that the breastfeed babies spend less time sleeping and wake up more frequently at night, whereas formula fed babies sleep more at night. The reason behind this is formula takes longer for a baby's system to digest than breast milk, which leads formula fed baby need fewer feeding than breastfeed babies. And as a result, baby won't wake much from the hunger. I did try this technique and it did help me. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to give your love by hitting the like button and subscribing our channel. Until we meet in our next video, take care and bye bye.